Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed the footage right now, because I think I think it was hilarious. So right now, I'm going to grab my coffee. I'm going to go into my room, and I'm probably going to start vlogging. Because I have to say, the feedback was quite good on the first video. So I was like, Ugh. I was like, why not? Why not do the second video right now? Because, I don't know. I have nothing to do, so let's go for it, I guess. I'm ready. So before that, I have to, you know, do my setup. Um, I got a new tripod. Damn it, I really hate this out of focus. Can you hear it? Fucking hell. Stop. Stop, I'm here. Stop. Fucking hell. Ah. Anyway. I bought this tripod. Um, gonna. Uh, so I'm gonna use this tripod. I'm uh, gonna set it up here. I'm gonna go for natural lighting this time. Why not? Um, so yeah, let me set up my vlog and then I'll start. Hello. I'm gonna clap three times. One, two, three. That worked. Um. Um, yo, thanks for tuning in. My name is Shining Hawk, and this is vlog number three. So, have fun. So, because of the feedback, I was quite happy of the result. Like, there have been quite a few people that checked out my vlog, and I was like, hey, that's working. So, keep it up. As you could see in the beginning of the video, that's basically how I wake up every morning, you know, I make my coffee, watch some stupid videos, and then that's it. Yeah, today we're gonna talk about month April. It's gonna be probably gonna be a shorter video than the one before, but I can tell you this month was not boring. There has been quite a few things that I want to talk about. So I've had some feedback on how to do it this time. So basically, I will show you the place I've been, talk about it, and you know, show the special sp special verities about this place you know so how did it start so i went to i went to mamaku i started milk and cows on this dairy farm and then so it started off like i have to clean those quads and the trucks with like a high pressure gun and it was like it was quite cool i have to admit that yeah but that was pretty much it i started milk and cows and at first i was super i was super like nervous on how to do it because i was like i don't want to be full of shit i just i just didn't feel right so i was like okay how am i supposed to do it properly so but after after a certain amount of time i can tell it became easier for me to do it i just enjoyed it much much more because you know i've got the routine i know how it works and yeah it just it just it just started being funny. So on the 5th of April, I went I went to the Rakuri Caves and to the Waitomo Glowworm Caves because I had a day off. So me and me and a Canadian girl, which I forgot the name again. I'm sorry. We went there with the car. It was quite a it was quite a ride. Um so the Waitomo Glowworm Caves is like one it's one of the most like coolest places to visit visit in New Zealand yeah we went there because I wanted to see those glow worms and I was like okay let's go there let's check it out so we had to like book two things so we had the Rokuri caves and we had the Waitomo glow worm caves so we have like two things in one so the Rokuri caves have been pretty amazing I'm gonna put in some pictures here and it was just like a huge cave with stones hanging down. I think they were like some sort of sandstone. No, sandstone. They have been like, like, they have been growing the way that the oxygen was kind of flowing. I don't know. But they were wet stones and they looked cool. I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a scientist. I don't know how it worked. I already forgot it. Anyway, so we went there and it was quite cool. So yeah, we walked around and... We've been in there and it was quite cool. Um, when we entered the Waitomo Glowworm Caves, we were not allowed to use the camera because every light source, you know, makes the glowworms shy, if you can say it that way. So yeah, we just like, you know, we were on a little boat and then we were just like going through this cave and there were like glowworms everywhere. But I have to be honest, like I was a little bit sad about the result. Um, some people say you have to go 
mm, beginning of the day or at the end of the day we went uh, middle of the day because that's the only that's the only tour we had so that was a little bit shit um but yeah that was okay it was it was a cool experience but i was expecting a little bit more the next day we just we went to the Rotorua rose garden because i was there one day and i just took some pictures of some flowers like nothing too exciting but it was still quite cool um and i was there with casper and what was her name the canadian girl shit i'm gonna look it up give me a second so her name was octavia i just looked it up because i felt i felt bad using her as a person and not even knowing her name so Octavia, Casper and me, we went to the Ro Ro Rose Garden and we just, you know, took some pictures there, we just hang out. So that was quite nice. So on the on the 14th of April, I, what can I say, I went through a little depression phase, I guess. I can say it that way. I've been kind, kind of sad. And I've had this, this idea of a photo shoot of me being some sort of Grim Reaper. Because the jacket that I had on had like super cool shapes and it was raining. It looked kind of cool. That can be something. So I asked this dude, forgot his name. So he took pictures of me. I was I was skeptical first about the result because I was like, nah, nah, not the best. The editing did the work and I have this awesome picture of myself looking like some reaper and I fucking love this picture so much. Yes. So, on the 19th of April, um, I had a photo shoot with Dave. So, he was a guy that was working on the, on the dairy farm as well. And he, was, he has been doing that, like, in his previous life, I guess, you know. So, he asked me if I can take pictures of him. Because he saw some of, my, some of my work and he was like, Hey, it would be quite cool if you could take pictures of me. And I was like, yeah, why not? So, we took some pictures. And I have to say they turned out really nice and I was I was not sure how to do it and I told him as well But I was like, okay, let's just try it out and see and see how it works and the result. I mean, they were amazing I'm still in love with the pictures. There's like one which I'm gonna put in right now and I fucking love this picture so much Yes, so for that because I took pictures of him he took me to a waterfall in a restricted area and we went there and it was so nice like it was just us two but like getting there was quite a hike i guess and the water was ice cold because it was april so it was like mid autumn i guess um but yeah it was really cool there so i really enjoyed the atmosphere there in the evening uh octavia casper and me we went to the rotorua night market which was every first day and you know they're playing music there you can buy some food and we took a picture there with casper which i still love I miss you, Casper. So that was a really cool place and I really enjoyed it there. The days went past and on the 21st, Dave was leaving the dairy farm because he wanted to travel a little bit more before he was flying back home to Canada. So we had like a little farewell party. The owner from the dairy farm came by. We had some beers. We met some new people, you know, some people that we just like worked with. Yeah, and then basically um, we had a little game of beer pong, super low budget, you know, it was, it looked so bad. We had like a door, we had plastic cups, which are not made for beer pong, and we used an aluminium or a foil ball to play it. So I called it low budget beer pong. And it worked, it was fun, it was super funny. So we had like two games of that, and then that was that day. And I'm like rushing through the days, but I can like tell mainly we've just been milking cows, we had French toast, we sit at the place and you know, we didn't do much like playing video games, watching TV, nothing, nothing too fancy, you know? That's why I'm just skipping the whole month because April was my first real month, but then it was, it was not so interesting. But yeah, like that was like my daily routine. Milk and cows, French toast, TV or video games. And that was with Casper mainly because we, we got along very, very well. So that was cool. So on the 20, Third, me and Casper, or Casper and me, I apologize. Um, we went to the Kaimai Mamaku Forest Park. We just wanted to go for like a little hike to like, you know, see a different area because he knew I was leaving soon. So yeah, we went into this forest and we just went for a little hike. And I have to say we, well, we got lost. We went to the wrong place for like an hour or one and a half hours to the wrong way. And then I was like, yo, Casper, 
I think we're going the wrong way. Um, I think we should maybe turn around and like, you know, go the other way and see. Ah, I mean, I guess. So we walked back and then, yeah, we just noticed that we fucked up and we had, instead of like walking for three hours, we were walking for six hours. And yeah, I kind of fucked up my knee. Like, cause I remember I was singing the earth song. Yeah, it was the earth song. And I was just like, the whole time and then at some point I was just walking behind him and I I slipped I fell down and I fucked up my knee not badly but I injured it and I was like fuck why so that was that was funny if you see this video Casper you remember the earth song the earth song was great but yeah, I have to say like we we went past the waterfall and it was such a beautiful place. Like it was so nice. There was no one. It was just us two. It was really nice there. It was not bad walking the wrong way, I guess. So on the 28th, I had a visitor from Germany that I met on that Praktika Welten company thing. And then um, we went to we went to the 3D art gallery in Rotorua. Yeah, we just, you know, messed around there. We took some pictures. We also went to fancy meow cat cafe it is as it says a fancy cafe with cats so you walk in you you pay 10 bucks and there's like you get a coffee and there's a huge amount of cats so all you can do is you can pet them you can play with them and you know have a good time if you're allergic to cats i'm sorry but it is really cool so Props to that place. I really loved it. And then the same day there was in Mamaku There was a PWE event like pro wrestling entertainment and I was like I want to go there I've like I've never seen a wrestling event before so I was like hey I want to check that out So we went there and it was super funny when I think about it They were like they were like little children and they were like yelling the whole time like oh you piece of shit uh, you're from Australia. That's so bullshit. Uh, New Zealand is gonna beat your ass. And I was like, okay, I guess. So there was a break, and then the the guy that was holding the title, like the the PWE title, I just I just had a conversation with him about the event, and yeah, it was it was quite cool talking to someone that's you know doing pro wrestling. He also gave me his title, so I was I was holding the title. So yeah. I felt, I felt very special. So the next day on the 29th, I went to the Tamaki village. That's like a Maori village um, close to Rotorua. That's like also a very touristy attraction. And so, so basically I sit down in the bus, all the seats were taken. So I was sitting front seat close to the bus driver. And at some point he asked, who's giving me a message right now? Ah, nothing too important, nothing too important. No one is texting with me. Anyway, we went to the Tamaki village bus. And then he had to like, he asked us, we need, we need a tribe leader for the bus. And no one volunteered, so he just chose me. I'm in a strange country. My English is okay. I'm going to Maori village. I have to be a leader. So... I... Trozov? Hallo. Okay. Richtig. Ähm, ja, sollte schon gehen. Dankeschön. Tschüss. You saw the footage when I took the, the phone from the table? That's why. So I don't have to like run out, get the phone and call him. Smart. Smart. So I had special tasks. So I have to like be a tribe leader and represent my tribe. So I did that. So I had to like do that was like that was like a, a greeting so i was standing there and he was like coming with a leaf and he was like doing his like wah, 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 wah. and then, so yeah i have to like be respectful not laugh and just you know like keep a straight face and look into his eyes slowly walk up get that fern and then walk back so at some point the the tribe leader came out of a special door and he took us with him like just three three tribe leaders from the buses and then we had like special privileges so he was like showing us the city or like the village all just us four like us three like with him four people um and we had like 
VIP basically. We could like choose our seats, where we want to sit, the people that are with us, we can like take them with us and you know have like food first, privileges, all the things. So that was quite cool. You know, I felt I felt special. In the end we had like the the feast. I think it's called Hangi. I hope. Hangi. I hope. Please don't judge me if I'm wrong. So that was quite cool. We had like tradition traditionally made Maori food, which is made underground, which is quite nice. And it tasted very good. So that was that was a nice feast. So I really enjoyed that. And then in the end we had to like sing in front of the whole tribe. And I was like, I was not sure what to sing, but everyone knew it. I was like, how can you know the lyrics? And then I found out that basically what the woman was singing, we had to sing along. Oh. I found out quite fast how to do it so yeah that was funny yeah we drove back that was that so the next day i said goodbye to delia i said goodbye to everyone else in the house or in the flat because i was on my way to tauranga because as you remember maybe i i met two german guys in auckland valentine and felix and they were like traveling together and they were like i'm um, doing they were doing cherry carry no 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 they were doing kiwi fruit picking in Tauranga or like in the area. So yeah, I asked them if I want to, if I can join them because I wanted that New Zealand experience basically. And they're like, yeah, we need someone on our team. So just come by and we'll sort things out. So Casper and me, we drove to, we drove to Tauranga and we just went for a little hike on Mount Manganui. It was quite nice, you know, seeing the Mount Manganui beach, seeing the Mount Manganui, you know, just being in a different place. That's basically, that's basically month April. I've been not doing much in April. I've been, I've been milking cows. I've been white homoglobin caves. I've been in Otorua quite a lot. I've been, you know, having fun times there. It was a pretty slow and pretty easy month. Nothing big happened. You know, I've seen some nature places, but it was very chill. So next month I'll be in Tauranga and I'll start kiwi fruit picking and I'm gonna talk about my experiences there. I'm gonna talk about new people that I met through that. I'm gonna talk about going out to town, drink. I'm gonna talk about Rosie's Irish pub, which had quite a few stories. So yeah, be sure to check out next week's video. I hope you like this and I hope you like the new, the new video angle. Um, I also have a microphone right here, so I hope the quality is a little bit better. I'm gonna buy a new microphone, which I'm gonna like attach to my, attach to my t-shirt, so I'm gonna have like a good quality. Even though this microphone is quite good, so I don't know what's wrong with the microphone. But, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Yeah, so, goodbye. Peace.